Could stem cell therapy help your pets? Dr. Amy Guernsey is here to break it down for us. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start with the basics. Mm -hmm. What are stem cells? I like to think of stem cells as blank slates. They are cells that haven't been told what to do yet, what to be yet. Um, they tend to form a specific cell line based on what's going on around them. Okay, and what is this therapy used for? Um, we tend to use stem cell therapy to treat dogs with arthritis, degenerative conditions. We will often use it in conjunction with different surgeries. So like if a dog has an ACL repair, we'll use it at that time to promote healing. Um, we've even used it in some patients with atopic dermatitis, which is an inflammatory skin disease. So it has a lot of different applications. And you use it frequently in dogs, but can it be used for cats and other animals as Absolutely. well? Absolutely. Yep. We have done some cats too. Oh, well, very cool. And, and this is not a new technology. This no. is something that you guys have been doing for quite a while here in Topeka. Correct. Are you seeing an increase in people who are interested in it or wanting to learn more about it? Yeah, we have. Um, so stem cell therapy is becoming more prominent in the media. Um, you hear about athletes using it all the time to treat injuries. Um, there was a recent Shark Tank episode that talked about collecting stem cell at the time of spay or neuter. Um, it's not a new concept. We've been doing it for a while um, and we're, we're glad to answer people's questions and, and help their pets. Well, let's uh, talk a little bit about how it works. So is there a, a better time to harvest those stem cells? Um, not necessarily. The cool thing about the stem cells that we do, it, it's derived from fat tissue. Um, so unlike, you know, if you're a, a mother trying to decide whether or not to bank your baby's cord blood mm -hmm. for stem cells, um, our pets, we can do at any point in their life. An ideal time would be at the time of their spay or neuter. They're already under general anesthesia. We just collect a, about a tablespoon of fat from their belly um, while they're asleep. We process those cells in-house inject joints that or inject areas that need to be treated and then whatever's left over we send to our outside lab for storage. Um, again that process can happen anytime really. And how long can that be stored? Essentially the life of the animal. Um, so it's nice to, you know, if you collect them while they're young, um, you have it kind of in your back pocket for if they develop arthritis or, or problems as they age. What are some of the most common questions that you get about it or any misconceptions that people have? I think one of the most common misconceptions would be um, where stem cells are derived from. Like I said, we, we get them from fat tissue, so then there's not the big controversy that there was a number of years ago about embryonic stem cells used in research. So um, you can rest assured that you know, you're, you're sourcing from something that's not harming something else. Okay, well, Dr. Guernsey, thank you for sharing this information with us. And if you would like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to University Veterinary